Right, today we are going to cook a classic dish and we are going to be using these beauties. These are my homegrown gooseberries. And we're going to be using these to make a sauce to go with a dish which has been around for hundreds of hundreds of years. So I'll put these, we'll get in the kitchen, I'll tell you what we're going to get up to. So I said we were going to do a classic dish. It's more of a riff on a classic dish and that dish is normally a gooseberry sauce which is nice and tart and you pair it with an oily fish and it's normally done with mackerel but I thought be a bit different and use herrings you know the humble herring gets bad press it's an oily fish it'll work perfect with this dish trust me on paper it sounds wrong but on the tongue it's amazing so first thing what we're going to do I've got 200 grams of gooseberries here and what I'm going to do quickly before we start anything is I'm just going to top and tail them and we're going to get them in the pan start working start breaking down with a little bit of sugar I'm using 20 grams of caster sugar the easiest thing to do is whatever your amount of gooseberries just knock a naught off and that's the amount of sugar you need so if you have 400 gooseberries 40 grams of sugar so I shall continue to do these then I shall show you how to prepare those silver darlings and these are lovely and fresh as you can see cracking fish and those four cost me under two pound unbelievable and I'm going to cook these two two different ways as well and we're going to fill it them all we're going to just pan fry a couple and then we're going to do a Scottish presentation which is you brush some good mustard roll them in oats and you fry them as well we're going to serve it all up on a lovely bed of watercress with our gooseberry sauce so let's get those gooseberries in the pan so this sauce is simple to do get your gooseberries or your gooseberries as we call them over here get them in the pan add your sugar all in one I mean we can check the sugar see how tart it is at the end splash of water just like that turn the heat down cover that and leave it for five minutes so these lovely herrings and I always find with herrings or sardines easier using a pair of scissors because they're so delicate and all we're going to do if I can hold it up is cut the tail off just where the gills start cut the head off and these are super sustainable these you know there isn't a season for these over here you know and they're much underused and they're just as tasty is a mackerel and what we're going to do the anal vent just cut up just do a couple and all you do open it up get your fingers in and that's it gutted show you again that's it gutted so that's our lovely herrings gutted I just want to show you where we are with the gooseberries look it's just coming down as if you were making apple sauce with pork Give that a couple more minutes first of all we're going to fillet these now there's a couple of ways you can prepare these I'll show you the easy way is with a knife or your scissors just go straight through the tail put it flat on your work surface just press down straight down turn it over tailbone And they all come out and that's boneless show that again get your fish flat on your board press it down all the way along turn it over tailbone and that's your butterfly fillet and if you can see where the backbone is just put your knife in no pressure all the way along and you've got a boneless fillet you can see the backbone there so just ride along the top of it put your knife in and there you have boneless fillets just do this one and we'll tidy them up we'll get cooking so above the backbone as you can see there is no pressure on that knife at all 
keep your hands on the top and you cannot go wrong and you can fill it a lot of fish like this mackerel sardines you know even small bass bream and all we're going to do is tidy up those belly bones those rib bones there so i'm just going to slide my knife i'm going to square them off because i want them looking nice and neat just where the top is where the fins have been so we've got four lovely portions so fill it those belly bones just gently get your knife under excuse the mess because it's for the camera so it's a bit of a funny way around and you end up with those so the smell coming off them are fantastic now there's several things you can do here you can use a stick blender to blend it or push it through a sieve just going to give it a mash now I've cut these as you know for five minutes co uh, covered so all I'm going to do now is leave that uncovered and hopefully cook the fish in the same time just to evaporate some of that liquid so we've got more of a, a compact chutney texture so my gooseberry sauce is letting down and what I've got here then are my eight fillets and my porridge oats believe it or not yes they are and my mustard now for I'm going to prepare the Scottish way so we turn them over and we brush some mustard onto them now you must give this a go because this is a dish in its own right and this it really is a fantastic dish so turn them over mustard on that side that is like one of the best gifts you can give anybody a pastry brush is just awesome and all you do is get your fillet into your oats and this cooks up beautiful nice crunch to it and you do the same with the other three I'll just show those gooseberries now they've come right down they're getting dry I'll just take it a little bit more and we'll just keep them warm right the trick to getting good crisp fish skin is you really really have to get that pan spankingly hot and I know you know I've had a few comments people get scared there's nothing to worry about you know they get scared about the heat and the smoke there is nothing to worry about at all so what I've done is I've put a bit of oil on those skin fillets I'm just going to drop a bit into that pan just give that a little bit of a massage lovely bit of pepper put a bit of pepper over the ones with oats and I'll season it with a little bit of salt and by now with a bit of luck give that a swirl we should get the beauties in the pan and they will buckle up so just press it down gently in fact I'll just do three of each I'll do three of those, three of those. And then just take the heat out of the pan and then don't touch them now. You've got to leave them, that's the trick, and it's really hard to not want to touch them. But if you want nice crisp skin, that is what you've got to do. Take about three or four minutes aside. So I'll just show you, it's been a couple of minutes. You turn that over and the skin. Is nice and crispy. Let's turn those ones over with the porridge on and they've gone lovely and crispy and that'll add a lovely crunch. Excuse my hands. Oh, there was one. And it'll just take a couple of minutes now just to do the flesh side. So what I'm going to do, because it won't take so long, turn the heat off and let those cook in the residual heat. On our plate then, nice handful fresh watercress we'll take one fillet take one with the oats on oh man 
I'm going to put another one that way. Oh, it's so well cooked. As you can see, look at the fish. It's cooked to perfection. And then, and we'll finish that. Give it one of them in there, just for a laugh. Squeeze some fresh lemon juice over it. And that, it's took 10 minutes. And believe you me, it's something else. I just want to show you how well that fish is cooked. Moist, juicy and that. I mean it shouldn't work. It shouldn't work but it's just, excuse me here, awesome. You can go online and there is absolutely hundreds of ways to do this but this is the easiest, the simplest and at the end of the day that's what you want your cooking to be simple, achievable and this really is that really is a winning dish and you can try it with different fish you know obviously it's originally for mackerel but try it with like I did herring, sardines sea bass fillet, sea bream fillet I mean it would work amazing with salmon and if you've got any questions you want to ask go to twitter at the scott reed project or on my facebook page the scott reed project you know like it share it and most of all try it thanks for watching